hello and welcome everyone to our youtube channel we have created this youtube channel to teach you about unity unity is a engine that helps you to create 2d and 3d games and many more things so today we are going to learn about user interface of unity engine editor so first of all let's create a project so this is a unity hub double click on unity hub so we have our unity hub open unity hub, unity hub has this kind of buttons projects learn community installs projects shows you all your projects let's first I will tell you about installs if you click here you can see here your installs version of unity here you can also add new version from here you can also locate already installed version from here by clicking here in locate select folder projects project folders you can add you can see here your previous projects that you have created with their unity versions target platforms you can also add your previous project from here by selecting anywhere you can also create a new project by clicking here new so let's we create a new project from here so we click new button This window shows uh, some inbuilt templates of Unity. So we click on 3D. We also create. So let's our uh, we give a uh, project name. Let's say first to to no, first uh, user interface interface, and you can change your location by clicking here three dots. So we let's create a new folder tutorial to we name this folder tutorial okay and you can click here to create your first unity project it it's it takes some time to create our unity project because it will load some inbuilt packages so let's wait for some while I have a unity 2020 install here okay so we have our unity okay this is a just a pop-up that tells me to update my unity so let's close first okay this is our unity game engine so you can see the unity engine okay unity layout has small small windows that helps you while you create your games right small small windows you can see here let's i will tell you uh, this is uh, let i will tell you all the about all windows so we have first have hierarchy windows hierarchy panel project panel console panel scene panel game panel and inspector panel these all panels will come across to you when you try to create a game right so let's learn one by one what these are panels are used for okay let's talk about hierarchy window hierarchy window it is a window that include which and what kind of game objects that are used in our game okay so you so first of all i will tell you what is a game object every object that you see in hierarchy window 
is a game object. You can also also add some game objects. Uh, let me teach you one. Uh, right click, 3D object and cube. This cube is a called game object. It, hel it helps you to create a game, right? Okay. So everything that you see in hierarchy cube is a called game object and everything you see here you can also see in scene window right okay let's add another game object we call it is q where is light okay now we create a sphere and add it in our hierarchy panel you can also see it here right okay you can also move up and down these objects in hierarchy panel right okay so i think you understand about this hierarchy panel let's talk about scene window right this window is where you will create your scene scene window allows you to navigate and edit your scene visually right you can move your objects according to your game and you can create your game right so we have two objects here uh, one is cube and one is sphere you can arrange them you can also add some models like just um, suppose you trying to create your racing game so you have to add, add cars trees roads your environment right trees and anything so you can adjust them in scene window you can visually see and edit in in scene, scene window right okay so we have some buttons here you can see this button 2d means if you want to game make a game in 2d you can click and you can see your view in 2d view and if you uncheck this you can see in 3d window right okay let's talk about inspector window inspector window allows you to view and edit all the properties of the current selected game object right if you want to change the properties of your game object then you have to came across this inspector window like suppose we have main camera and we want to change a field of view of camera right so we have to first select main camera then we go to inspector window and change its field of view let me just see you can see the change here inspector window shows all the properties and you can edit them right you can add some components in inspector window like so we have to add rigid body you can add by clicking add component and write your component name and the component name will be arrived component, component will be added right okay you can also change your game objects positions scales from here Suppose we have a, this cube and we want to change the scale of this cube. So we can select this cube and you can see the transform property here. And let's we have to scale it to 2, 2 and 2. You can see the change. You can also change the position of your game objects, right? You can also enable or disable the components from here, right? Mesh collider, right? Inspector window also has a lock button. It will lock your inspector. Let's talk about another panel, and that is game panel. Game panel shows a view that hierarchy windows main camera sees when the game is playing. 
you can see a preview of window what your game is look like to your panel you can see here okay let's adjust our some camera so you can have some idea right okay and let's move you over cube little bit height and adjust our sphere to normal scale right? okay let's see in our game window okay you can see what our game will be look like right let let me change our camera little bit up near little bit up and let me load it into x axis from the inspector okay it's so scale so i main camera right and let me okay we have problem here okay let me move a little bit lower and you can see what it look like in game window right you can see how your game look like in game window okay we have some buttons here in game window if you click here you can see many screen resolutions in game window and if you click it will change its resolution it will help you to see how your game looks like in many resolutions different different devices different different resolutions right okay maximize on play if you check this button maximize on play and hit play it will maximize your game window like this right we have click maximize and play and hit play it will maximize our screen okay mute audio mute audio will disable your sound when you are checking game. it will help you when you are constant checking your game and the music will irritate to you you can just enable this and the sound of the game will be enabled in the editor right okay states states shows it this window will help you when you want to optimize your game it has some variable like fps cpu uses it will help when you try to optimize your game right okay Let's talk about project panel. This window displays the file that is being used for the game. All the assets in your project are stored are kept here. All external assets such as texture, file, sound file are kept here. If you want to use them in your game, you have to just drag and drop in hierarchical window and you can use them. You can also create a folder scripts in here. Let's we create one folder. Right click, create folder. Let me name it script. Let's create one script. Double click on folder. Right click, create, create C sharp script. Let me name it demo. Let's talk about our last panel and that is console panel. Let me drag here. If you are a developer, then you are known to the known to the console right console helps you to debug your game console prints your messages your warnings and errors right if you check here it will print your normal messages just if you print somewhere like print debug.log it will print here right if you check this it will show your warnings and if you check this, it will show your error, right? If you check this, it will show error. If you uncheck this, it will not show the error here, but it will show your number of errors here, right? Console have also option like clear play or clear on play. If you check this, clear on play, okay, click clear on play and hit play, it will clear all logs from here. Console has collapse button. Uh, if you check this, it will 
collapse your number of messages that is repeatedly print here right console has error pause error pause if you enable it and play the game and if any error arise if any error occurs it will stop your game pause your game right Thank you. so this is our unit interface that you have learned we also have a play button pause button right also you can manage your panels by dragging scaling by scaling or making group you can also do some other things like if you want to see in another view right you can so see the like see like this you can also change your layout by clicking here two by three you can split them you can show the default view right you can also save your layout like if i do let me first delete my view oh, okay all right I, I choose my already yellow and let me delete first it delete layout and that is my this game okay i will delete this window okay let me first let me do some changes okay i have to do it and let me save my layout so i will click here i will game save layout and let me name game developer unity please subscribe our channel hit like button so we can upload more and more informative video related to the unity okay we have type our name and let me save it and let me change again two by three and if you uh, i change my layout to two by three but i want my layout again so i can click here and i have my layout so this is little informative video about our unit interface if you have any questions if you want any video on topics please tell us in comment and please subscribe like our video subscribe our video and hit the bell icon for further notification we are going to upload many many as many many videos about unity related to unity so see you in the next video goodbye